picture. And I thought, this is nice. This is a random picture out of an airplane when it came home. And how many Postgres installations are you going to see here? And this is what really means by community. Over here is the Danube River, and you can get a, a spot for barbecue there. And to organize that, it's a Postgres database. Below my wing, there's Vienna Graveyard. It's a Postgres database, right? So you can't even die without Postgres, you know? <laughs> so if you hear over there, this building over there on the side is United Nations, which means everybody. There's Postgres there. There's the Oracle hate poster actually on the wall, <laughs> which I, I couldn't take a picture of that, but I would love to, right? Obviously, everybody here is cable television. It's Postgres database, right? So then what else do we have? Airspace, Postgres database, right? Then we have, what else do we have? Uh, there's a banking sector behind the stadium, Postgres database, right? Vienna government owns, I think, 200,000 apartments, you know? Vienna city government alone has, I think, 500 Postgres databases. So this is what I mean by Postgres in real life. So somebody who made a small contribution here might have done stuff for hundreds of systems just on this picture. Just to, make, to, to, to tell you what this means. So it's not a small thing like, oh, we're doing this kind of stuff. This is running countries, you know? Countries, not just small stuff. Where is Postgres on this picture? That means Swaziland, by the way. Where's Postgres in this picture? This is a snow machine. A cubic meter of snow, if you go skiing, a cubic meter of snow is more than 20 euros. Total cost, one cubic meter of snow. So imagine in Austria, we have hundreds of skiing slopes and you have to put snow on them. If you could just do one centimeter less, right? There's super precise GPS here so that when you prepare the slopes, they measure how much snow is below you. It's a Postgres database. You can not even go skiing without Postgres. And those guys here in Eswatini, which is somewhere in South Africa, they are sending each other money. You know, you give me five bananas and I will send you money over my phone. And this is Postgres, right? So from deep Africa to city center, it's Postgres, right? So this is not something that is, oh, Postgres everywhere. This is real, you know? This is real people in real world doing this stuff. So if you fix a typo, you might fix a typo for those guys, you know? Or those guys might fix a typo for you, you know? In economics, we call it spontaneous order, right? So things happening. And this, let's be a bit philosophical here. Why we do open source? And the answer is, we did not choose to do this because it's easy. We chose to do this because we didn't know it's hard. <laughs> so this, this might be some, some philosophy back there. So it's just to give you what this means that if you do a contribution, it might be somebody's uh, bank account. It might be somebody's barbecue. It might be somebody's whatever, right? So this really matters. So, but bear with me for two minutes, two minutes. I only bore you for two minutes. So on top of this, this thing, which is all open source and wonderful, people have built commercial ecosystems around that, right? So full automated Kubernetes, full migration with code explanation, low code development platform, everything in one platform, but this is enough for the commercial part. So what I just want to tell you, we are cool, we're doing Postgres, we're wonderful people, visit our booth. Just, that's, that's enough for economics here. So, so why does it matter? Because all of the stuff you've just seen on four slides, right? Somebody has written a driver to make this happen. You know, somebody else might have done some translation. Somebody else might have fixed some, some bug, you know? And all those wonderful things we can do to make a living basically means that somebody else can build something crazy on top. Anybody here from Germany? Yeah. I got to tell you that every German embassy has a Postgres database, right? Just, just, it's a passport. This is a relevant document, right? Anybody using electricity? <laughs> okay. Nobody. <laughs> okay. Cool. So you, you, might, you might use, uh, you might use uh, Postgres because energy is traded across Europe. That's Postgres, right? Just tiny stuff, electricity, doesn't matter, you know? So if anybody asks you, uh, is anybody using Postgres for critical databases? I would say electricity is quite basic, you know? That's critical, critical infrastructure. Did anybody shoot anybody recently? <laughs> no? Okay. Uh, you won't admit, right? Okay. So, 
uh, Postgres database, right? So uh, I mean, not the shooting part, the jail part. Just get it, things in order. So what does it mean, open source? You know, it's a very religious thing, open source, whatever. But I spoke to some guys in Africa recently, and they said something very simple. No matter what geopolitics does, we want to run a hospital, you know? We don't want to have grandpa die in hospital because some parliament says, we section you, right? We turn you off. We don't want you. You're bad people, right? We turn, we turn you off. You won't get anything anymore from us. So open source means everywhere in the world, digital, sovereign, uh, digital sovereignty. You can run that, you know? Even if you misbehave in the eyes of somebody somewhere in the world, right? If China doesn't like you, so what? You know, you can still run that, you can compile that, you can contribute, you can do stuff. So it's not only about, is it cool, is it cheaper, is it whatever? Of course it is, right? But at the end of the day, you don't want to, to have grandfather die in hospital just because somebody says, oh, open source, we don't like this product. We don't like this closed source product anymore, we just turn it off, you know? Try to turn off Postgres, you can't, right? So there's value to that, you know? It's, it's not just some, oh, open source religion. You know, this is very practical, very practical. Electricity, everything. So it's, it's also a question of, you know, having things working. This is why I showed you those pictures just by looking out of the window. You will see hundreds of systems you're not even aware of that are just running really, really basic stuff, like doing barbecue at the Danube, you know, really important, right? So super cool. So any questions, anyone? Do we take questions? Otherwise, thank you for your attention. Uh, by the way, we are hiring, just saying, no. <laughs> So thank you for your attention. We'll be out of time. And thank you. Look, I have two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I can have my two minutes if he wants to. Huh? You know?